Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Um, today we got a update of my uh, solar system, my EP Ever uh, charge controller. As you can see, um, this is the updated version. Um, everything's working pretty good. EP Ever uh, solar charge controller and the the Harbor Freight uh, Thunderbolt uh, system. Hurricane um, on the Pacific. It, uh, it went to a category uh, four, and then it went down to a category three again, and then two, and then it went back. Yeah, <clears throat> when it hit land, it was already a tropical storm. So what that created, it created excessive uh, rain. There was a lot of floods around here, um, especially in the places where closer to the Pacific. Well, anyways, long story short, this is what happened. My uh, MPPT uh, solar charge controller, EP Ever, um, basically um, burnt. Uh, somehow, um, the water managed to get into the box. Um, my guess is throughout the cables itself and somehow managed to get into the components and made it into the EP Ever solar charge controller. Luckily this um, SunForest Pro series inverter is okay. Turns on for everything works pretty good. The only thing that was burnt is this uh, EP Ever solar charge controller. As you can see it's in a really bad shape. Um, it's not EP Ever's fault. It's probably my fault for not double checking the uh, what weatherproofing this uh, box even more um, I did put this tarp on top of the box even though um, I already had um, weather stripping on the side of the the box and I put um, that tarp just to make sure no water got in there apparently the tarp didn't do anything um, apparently the water somehow managed maybe the wind pushed the water in or somehow I have no idea what happened, but this is what I ended up doing. I removed the, the solar charge controller, I put this bar in there, um, reinforced the, the top, I put um, sheet metal on the top, with screws, and uh, and pretty much I just try to um, weatherproof it as much as I could. And then I did the uh, this uh, electrical box on the side for the wires. So I would be through, I'll be throwing all the wires in through there. Make sure that there's no water getting in there for future damage. And uh, as you can see, that's the metal on the, um, that's the metal roof part. As you can see the, the little screws that, um, holding the metal have caulking in there so and those are the solar panels solar panels are fine i already checked them they're doing real good so check them with the multimeter and pretty much it's uh it's nothing fun and it never rains this much here in arizona and uh, i guess now it did because um, of this tropical, this tropical storm or this hurricane brought all this rain into the uh, Phoenix area and now we got all this and this is what happened. It uh, damaged my uh, solar charge controller, my system here. There was actually water inside the batteries. As you can see there are, there are the, the bolts with the caulking, make sure there's no water leakage. Um, but yeah. All right, just want to share with you guys what happened. Um, hopefully this will uh, help somebody learn their, not make this mistake. Pretty much it was my, my mistake because I should have done this before, all, you know, before we got this um, storm. I'll uh, keep you guys updated. Um, as soon as I get my other charge controller. And um, I'm going to make another video and... We'll go from there, so stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.